Whoa! My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I'm here at Five Below right now. And the reason I'm here is I heard that they had some Super Mario Brother figures. And a little while back at Thrift Giant, I found Bowser's Castle. And I've been wanting some Super Mario Brother figures to go along with that, but didn't want to pay Target prices or Walmart prices. And uh, check this out. I found this entire setup here. We got Red Yoshi. We've got Luigi. We've got Goomba and we've got Mario himself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick these guys up and we're gonna take them back to the house and do a little show and tell. Oh, and check this out. I actually found this gas house gang. I can get it for five bucks. I've got about four or five of these, but I don't have this one. So I'm gonna snag him while I'm here too. All right guys, so we're gonna head back to the house right now and we're gonna get everything set up with those figures in Bowser's castle. But in the meantime, we're gonna stop at Goody Will and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, let's see. What do we got on the shelves? We got a Ferrari. Anything over here looks like some sort of walkway. We got the North Pole Express. And I think this is uh, some Power Ranger stuff right here. All right, let's see, what do we got over here? Oh, we got some Beanie Babies. Sometimes these can be worth something. Oh, that's a cute one. Little praying bear. What else we got? We got a little puppy dog. What else? Uh, we got a little little brown bear. And what's this? This is a this is a teeny beanie baby. A little frog. And this little chickadee. <laughs> got this red bear. And we have a Bengal tiger. Okay, now here's something really weird with these Beanie Babies, and I've seen this before. If you go to eBay and you look, uh, look under the sold fil uh, filter, you'll find that there are, like this guy, sold in some cases for $300, $500. But they were also an auction where it was like one single bid. And then you see where they were just sold as a buy now for like $3.99, $5. Any of the ones that have like an auction where it's like one, like where there's somebody bidding on it, it's always one bid and it's always a very high dollar amount. So I think there's like money laundering that takes place with these things on eBay. So um, it's hard to really determine what the value of these things really are. So if I'm not looking at the bids and I'm just looking at the buy now. <laughs> what was what was that hand thing she did? Like, what was that? She was like dancing. And then like, I started walking away and it was like, she was like, eh. Like she got upset or something, you know? Here, here, check it out again. Yeah, the buy now. That's probably gonna give me a better indication of what these things are really worth. So, like, why would somebody bid $500 in just one bid? for that you know what i mean there was no other bids it's kind of sketchy it's very sus so we're gonna pass on these but this guy is pretty cute all right guys well i did end up getting this guy his name is hope or maybe i should say her name is hope uh i got it for my mom my dad is a preacher he was a well he's no longer preaching he's retired he's a retired preacher and uh i think my mom would like this little praying bear. So mom, I was thinking of you today and I got you this, this little bit of hope. So, all right, so we're gonna head back to the house and, oh, and the cool thing is, this thing like legitimately sold for about 20 bucks. So, and I got it for $1.51. All right, let's head back to the house and uh, put together that Bowser's castle. All right, guys, let's open these guys up. All right, so let's push these dudes off to the side here a little bit. And we're gonna bust open Goomba first. So it looks like they come each with like a little coin. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> Man, he really popped out, didn't he? He just came flying. Okay, so let's set him right over here for now. Up next, we've got Yoshi Rogue, Red Yoshi. 
bust them out of this plastic prison. All right. We'll be a little more careful with him so he doesn't go flying. We got ourselves a little egg, a little polka dot egg. All right. Red Yoshi. Over there you go. Whoa. Hold on to your egg now, bud. All right. Who's up next? Luigi. Luigi with Superstar. All right. Out of the prison you come. All right. All right. So we've got Luigi and Superstar. So we'll put these guys over here for now. And then we'll... Uh, We'll set them up on the castle, inside Bowser's castle here in a minute. Finally, last, but certainly not least, we've got Mario. Like, you can't say Mario without saying it like Mario. <laughs> I dare you to try to say it normal. You just have this internal urge to say Mario. So let's bust a Mario out of his plastic prison. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's got a little stand. And his hat comes off, and we've got a little coin with him as well. So, here he is. So let's see, where does the, it goes right here. Help him stay upright, okay. And then, does his hat fit on his head? Let's see if it fits on his head. Mm, not really. I guess he's supposed to maybe just carry it in his hand, but let's see here. He's got these little alfalfa sprouts here on the back of his head. So maybe we can do this. Oh, there we go. Does that fit? It really doesn't. Okay, so I guess it's supposed he's supposed to just carry it like that. Okay, so let's put him back on his stand. And he's kind of top heavy. Like that, so let's put his hand upright. See his his hat has like this little this little handle on it that just fits right down inside there like that. The hat kind of makes him weighted down on one side, and he doesn't want to stand on his own. That kind of sucks. Let's try putting. Maybe we have to twist his hand a certain way. Ah, oh, there we go. That's funny. So you have to kind of like balance him out by twisting his hand a certain direction to get him to stand. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these guys up and then we'll take a look at them here in just a moment. All right, guys, we'll take a look at this from two angles. We'll take a look at it from the outside first and then we'll set these guys up on the inside. But let's zoom in here on Goomba. And Mario, <laughs> man, that looks awesome. Man, I'm glad Five Below had these figures and had them so cheap. And then over here, we've got little red Yoshi. And then if we take a look up above, we've got Luigi and we've got Superstar. Yeah, those look really, really good. Man, this is exactly what this castle needed. All right, well, this is what the inside of it looks like. So we've got Luigi over here. We've got Goomba. And Luigi is gonna make sure that Goomba doesn't cause him any trouble. So we're gonna press down on this little button. Oh, man, but he got Mario. He got Mario! Oh no! Yeah, this is fun. This is cool. So let's set Goomba up here. And we've got Yoshi. Check out the graphics on the wall here. Pretty awesome, huh? I don't know if you guys remember these oil cans, these oil drums. But I actually found those in one of those bags at Craptastic Sam's. Man, I need to fix Mario because like, that's bothering me that he got taken out like that. There we go. Oh no, he lost his hat. It's in the lava. Oh no. And then this thing right here, it 
kind of you know move back and forth. And I think this is maybe some sort of little elevator. I haven't quite figured this thing out yet. Yeah, overall, like, I think this is super cool. And like I said, I'm really glad that Five Below had these Mario Brother figures. It's awesome. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor. Do me a big favor. Smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. And check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it.